May I have your attention, please? This is the Real Estate Agent of the Year, losers. <laughs> all right, all right, thank you for your standing ovations. <clears throat> what, Jones? Drooling all over my victories, huh? Hey, what are you doing? I'm worried about your conscience, cheater. You see, Jones, you're a liar. Come here. Stand. I want everyone to see this. <clears throat> you see, Jones, it's not you that sold the house. It was a shirt skirt that did it! <laughs> and this belongs right here. <laughs> what are you doing? It's, it's funny. <laughs> It won't be funny when I become a partner in the company and drive a Ferrari to clients. <laughs> oh, and by the way, by that time, all you losers are gonna be fired. <laughs> Attention, everybody. <clears throat> so, this new house in Park Lane, and it is just perfect. It has swimming pool, fireplace, hardwood floors, high ceiling, smart home system, just perfect for living. And the price is eight million dollars. So, thus it makes this house the most expensive item in the history of sales of our company, and thus the most difficult item to sell. Leave it to me, boss. It's not gonna be easy to sell. And that's why I'm changing the rules from the company. From now on, anyone from this room can sell this house. You may have as many views as you want to. And whoever gets the contract signed by the end of this quarter gets his or her 10% from the sale. <laughs> Boss, you're gotta be kidding me. <laughs> That's crazy. No jokes. And good luck to everyone. One, two, three. Yeah, three is enough. Be honest with me, Jones. Why would you want to sell this house? You're a loser. <laughs> Honey, let me tell you something. You don't belong in this business. There are sharks in here. They wear expensive suits and wear Rolex watches. And they smell like a thousand dollar cologne. Do you know what you smell like, Jones? Poverty. So why don't you tell me the real reason why you want to sell this house? Is it just to prove that you're a strong, independent, working feminist? Or... Uh, I have a dream, Miller. If I win the contest, I'm going to study interior design. <gasps> study? Oh no, honey, you shouldn't do that. I think you already peaked as a woman. So, know your place. And don't get over your head. And let me give you an advice. Get out of this business with your head held high. You don't know me, Miller. You don't know who I am or what I want. All these train cats are dust in the eyes, unnecessary junk. And, and you, you just... You just box. Oh. They can pick you out from the packaging, but inside, it's empty. I believe it doesn't matter who you are outside. It's more important than who you are inside. Oh, wait, Jones. So you're saying that money isn't important in our business? It doesn't matter how much money people make? <laughs> Whoa. <coughs> Even my breathing got worse. <sighs> Jones. You're officially just spoiled the aura. Johnny, <laughs> you, in any business, you have to help people and respect them. Selling the houses, it's not only about hunt. It's it's good opportunity to give people happiness and love and a comfort. And even if I don't sell this house today... If it Jones, 
There is no way you're selling this house. No way. <gasps> oh. Get out of my way. And Jones, this canapes are disgusting. Whoa, 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 whoa. Freeze! Who are you? Juan Cortez. I have an appointment to see the house. You? You want to buy this house? Chilly kid, it's not an ice cream sale. But I'll tell you what, I'll give you a phone number so you can give me a call. We have dorm rooms available. Mr. Cortez, your appointment with me, Barbara Jones, nice to you. Come here, please, I will show you around the house. Yeah, help yourself. Are you serious? Now I realize why your sales are down. This poor guy just came in to eat free food. Step aside, Johnny, that's my client and I'm going to show him the house. <laughs> okay, okay, that's your business. But you stay out of my way. You stink of poverty. And that poisons the air. Mr. Cortez, would you like some coffee, maybe, or tea? <laughs> the living room is minimally furnished, so you can have some movie nights with your family. And the wall is mahogany, handmade Italian, Spanish tiles, and exclusive material. And at this side, this is a sunny side. And in evening, it's very, very beautiful sunset. So I Thank hope you. that. Oh, here you go. So this living room is so nice that any girl would prefer this couch to a movie theater. <laughs> Does this girl come with the house? <laughs> oh no, no. But I can assure you that you won't be lacking attention from the women's side anytime soon. Excuse me, Mr. Cortez. Take it, please. And let's go out to take some fresh air. Go to the garden. So you can add a slide and mini fountain system to turn pool into aqua park. <laughs> so you just could see it and look how your girls have fun. <laughs> That's wonderful. You have very good vivid imagination. By the way, Miss Honest, have you ever thought of becoming a designer? I'd like design very much. And Hopefully, soon I will be able to pay for that degree and make my dream come true. And this is the interior patio. Here is the pool with the water purification um, system. Mr. Cortez, All the uh, would you like to see guest house? Okay. Okay. And do you see? Right over there. It's a porcelain. And do you see? Right over there. It's a porcelain stoneware. Custom made, huh? Yeah. <laughs> What do you say to that? Love it. Uh, so, um, so shall we move on? Um, I don't see the point. Well, why you don't you don't like the house? Not at all. In fact, I love it, and I want to close the deal. <laughs> okay. Get the paperwork ready for tomorrow. <laughs> oh, absolutely, certainly. Uh, come to the office by three o'clock tomorrow. Okay. Here's my card. The address is on it. It's. My pleasure having business with you. All right, pleasure is mine. All right, I'm gonna show you out there. Hmm? Okay. Here you will a lot of place for your kids, and and this wall could be easily turned down, and we'll make a spacious dinner room for your family. What do you think, Mr. Johnny? You finally made me fall in love with this house. <laughs> yeah, that's really beautiful house. You fell in love for nothing, my Mexican friend. This house is already sold. What? Sold? But uh, how? And not how, but by whom? By the best real estate agent ever. Which is me. And it was sold to a rich man by the name Brown. B-R-O-W-N. So guess who'll be holding the wheel of Ferrari tomorrow? <laughs> Rolex. Oh my God. My watch. 
Oh my God. You stole it. Johnny. You thief. You, you stole Give it to me back. Give me back my watch. Johnny. Give me back my watch or Johnny. I'm gonna call the police. Can you hear me? Wait a minute, Johnny. Stop it. I'm so sorry. Just sit down, please. I'm so sorry. Did you Klein live a long time ago? No, no, a few minutes ago. Why? He took the plate of food. There were the three of them. By the way, your favorite canapes. Oh my god. My wallet. No, 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 there is no way. My wallet. No, Johnny. Maybe you're the one who labeled this guy like a rich man. You can't judge people by their clothes. It doesn't matter who you are outside. It's more important than who you are inside. No, I can't believe it. There is no way he stole my watch and my wallet. I'm gonna call him. I'm so sorry, Mr. Okay. It's some, it's just some accident. I'm so sorry. His phone is off. Don't be upset, my American friend. You, you should better run. Maybe you will catch up with him in the alley. The man like Mr. Brown is not hard to mistake. He will be in, in the expensive suit. I'm so sorry, Mr. Cortez. This, it was accident. Oh my God! My shoes! He stole my shoes! Miss Jones, everything is done. I cannot tell you how happy I am. May I ask you a question? Yeah, of course. You see, I am poorly dressed. Also, I'm a migrant. Why you let me come in the house, show me everything, and spend all day working? It's simple, Mr. Cortez. You're my client, and I don't judge people by their clothes and background. Selling houses, it's a chance to help people find their corner. I want to confess that this house was the best of all, and you are a good professional and also a good person. Thank you for not judging me by my clothes and my background. Rich people, no born rich. They become rich, rich spiritually, no material. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're absolutely right. And I hope you will be really happy in this house. That depends on your decision. My decision. Will you agree to be my designer? Yes, yes, of course I will. I, I will make everything to make this house really beautiful. Thank you. What's this junk? Are you feeding me this sore stuff to starve me up? You're not worth the half of this tablecloth. I'm your husband. I own you, Dorothy. You're useless without your master. Got it! If you value your life, do as I say. <laughs> <laughs>